Hello everyone, I'm Ten and I'm back with another Minecraft video on my Minecraft YouTube channel. So uh, these past few days have been a little busy and the sun is going down, that's not nice. Um, so the past few weeks have been a bit busy for me. Uh, I went on vacation like uh, people do when they're on vacation. I had a good time and uh, I moved into my college dorm because I'm a college girl now. And um, I've got to say, I, I am only doing this when uh, my dorm mates are out because I'm not sure about how okay with the fact that um, I am somewhat of a, a gamer, a Minecraft gamer at the same time. And as you know, gamers are very super oppressed. So I'm doing this in secret. Like this is my secret kind of like passion project. So last time we picked off, we, um, we built like a Japanese kind of like shrine gate thing. And uh, I realized that, well, they get a lot bigger than that, so I'm probably going to tear it down. And um, I'm going to also mine some wood for, like, the inner inner part that you actually use. So uh, we just have to get through this night. I'm not sh quite sure how to do that, but uh, this will be an experience. Oh, I have um, a lot of string, so I could probably make a bed so the self-care demons stop coming after me. Do I have wood, though? That's the question. I don't believe so, right? I don't see it. Uh, let me check my chest again, because I... No, really? Okay. I feel like maybe I dumped it in one of these. <sighs> Alright, it's been some time since I've been on... There you go. So, um, I'm, I really don't remember where I put stuff already, and we don't even have a house. This is like the closest thing to a house we have. It's not even. Um... So we're not going to go inside the shelter because that's for people who have ho homes and we're not about that kind of life here. I'm one string short. Oh. Huh, let me see if I can find a bow and arrow and uh, shoot those things. This will probably work. So now with my gun, I'm going to shoot that spider. There we go. Oh, it's a little too far now. Do you think I can make it? There we go. And it's, it's really kind of far now. Uh, you know what? We're going to do it the, like, the uh, hunter-gatherer way, or like the medieval way, where people had like those short bows. And, uh, oh, I'm out of arrows. Nice. Uh, please. I'm sorry, I'm innocent. Oh, and there they are again. Please. I'm innocent. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the worst time. Oh, my. <laughs> this was not fun. My friend recently told me to stop eating raw salmon in these videos and instead cook the salmon or something, but, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that just because I want to spite her. So, um, if you're watching this, this is for you. Or this is not for you, per se. Those self-care demons are really at it today, huh? Ah! Oh. Just the one I wanted to see. Come here. No? No? Come here. Hey, stop. Hey, these things are smart now. Like, what is that? Did you drop string? No. Sorry, I'm trying to get a bed, but I can't do that if you're out there. Ugh. This is tedious. Maybe I have some string in that chest down there that I just left behind. Hmm. So that's a no-go, huh? Um, nowhere short on food, so I can camp here forever if I so wish. And, uh, I don't think spiders despawn. Like, oh, that's a creeper. Maybe I can get that. Nope. Get out of here. I wish I had some more arrows so I could just, um, stay here. <laughs> Come on. I don't appreciate that. I'm just going to get this spider. Oh, they're coming in hot and I'm lagging. All right. 
I got this. I got this. This is a good day. This is a good start. I don't like grass either. At least I have full iron armor on, so, like, it's not that bad, but it'll be okay. Oh, string, string, strong, strong, strong. All right, time to yeet. I'm, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, mom. I'm going, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. That was scary. Is sleep worth all of this effort? The answer is always yes. You should get a good night's sleep, a fat eight hours every single night. Um, just to let all of you know out there where I stand on um, being healthy. Yes. Unless, um, of course, you disagree with that. In which case, uh, um, come on. Can't a girl get a fat sleep around here? I don't know what you want. Ah, uh, so I guess I'm making this fish farm a home now. Alright. Whatever. Okay. Now oh, I'm gonna watch you burn. I, I don't even get the pleasure of watching them burn. What is this? Oh, there we go. And I will love you. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to take that down now. It's a little too small. Not grand enough for my taste, to be quite frank. And um, I guess we're just going to... I want to see it blow up. Yeah. Is there... And we're just going to chop down, like, some choice wood and build the rest of it. Because um, there's an interior. There are walls to be built. And we're going to do all of that in a nice, timely fashion. Let's see if I can get this bread. Okay. Uh, so you may notice that this recording uh, may sound a little different. That's probably because, like, the... Um, shape of the room has changed and also because there is a lot of background noise now that I think of it like I can't really hear it with like headphones on and while I'm speaking and listening to Minecraft noises at the same time but uh others may notice it and it could be annoying but you know who's watching these anyway you thank you um is that wild how'd you come here do I have any bones oh I do come here why do they always run from you? Like, what's the... What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, he's hunting. I want to see that happen. That would be kind of funny. Oh, comrade. Extra bone for you. I love you too. I've also decided to name our first dog here. Like, over there. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh no, where'd it go? Anyway, our second dog here, which I will regard as our first because, uh, you know, um, I believe in second chances, but um, with Minecraft animal lives, this is Lil Tax Evasion, something I hold near and dear to my heart. So we're gonna have a dog now who's gonna accompany us as we chop down wood and uh, commit horrendous acts of eco-terrorism. Um, if you know me, I don't really like forests. I don't like the look of them. I don't like how unsafe they feel. So slowly by slow, slowly by slowly, bit by bit, <laughs> I'm going to tear down this entire forest and never replant it. And uh, someone's going to yell at me for that. But uh, you know what? I just don't like the look. And uh, it's harshing my vibe. Um, it's dropping free stuff, and it's not, that's not gonna bribe me, you know? I'm never, I'm someone who stands by their morals, and, um, I thought I heard a creeper. Um, I'm someone who stands by her morals, by, you know, I, I do what I say I'll do, and that thing is, I will not replant these trees. Not even if they give me sticks and wood and, or whatever. No, it's just not happening. Uh, so about the 14 point, 
fifth, um, actually, the Minecraft 1.15 update, huh? Uh, I saw the snapshot, they're adding bees. I think that's going to be wonderful. In my humble opinion, I think they need to be bigger, you know? I want them to make, like, a really cute toy. Um, like, that's going to be a wild hit. I, I can see it already. Of, like, um, a bee. And it's going to be really friend-shaped, and it's going to be really fun. I actually really like the bees right now. Like, it's probably going to find a new way to, like, for players to renew flowers without having to go through the trouble of finding bones, which have actually been made easier to come across in the 14, 1.14 update. So, uh, it shouldn't have been really a difficulty in the first place, but it could probably do with, like, replacing all this grass with flowers and stuff. Because, yeah, for the most part, flowers are something that uh, you have to do yourself. And um, I, I like the look of flowers. I like the look of bees. Bees and flowers are important. And I'm really excited that Mo Yang, as the kids call it, is deciding to spread awareness about um, honeybees and their role in the ecosystem, which is something I would have never considered, like, years ago, but I'm really glad they're bringing awareness into this now. So, we're gonna make our way back here. And we're gonna start building a structure that looks like a house, but trust me, it is not a house. And it will never be a house. It will be a house for someone who is not me, perhaps, but it's not a house. So, that's very, that's way too little. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. So uh, I planned on like raising it. Hey, I'm planning on like raising it off the floor a little bit, having some walls uh, filling in this puddle here. There we go. And little tax evasions here with me. Um, how much do I want to raise it by? Two maybe. It's like. That's enough for reverence. Uh, and uh, we're just gonna build it across and it will make it a square. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, great. I'm probably gonna replace those legs with fence posts just to make it a little more uh, detailed, I guess, or like have more depth to it. Oh, look at him. He's so. He's so happy to be religious. And, um, but first, this is the framework that I'm going to lay down. There we go. I saw, like, a really cool design, uh, when I was out, um, you know, walking about, studying structures. It's a great way to explore what you have locally. Like, there's a lot of local culture. And also to, like, gain inspiration from real life, you know? Like, no, I don't believe any builder has ever had, like, something that's just com come completely out of their mind, like, uninspired. That's just not something that happens. And this will be, like, the entryway, I guess, for, like, looking inside. And these are windows. So, um, if you really do aspire to, like, build really nice things, I think the first thing you should consider is, you know, what's around you already. Hmm. Pro I'll probably have to raise this, too, to make it all even. I want to replace these with stairs, like put some stairs for the, the tiles. And um, this is like the current structure for now. So, that's pretty great. Oh, that's not great. Okay, so I'm going to go back and get some fence posts. Mm. Eats a fish, eats a fish, eats a fish, eats a fish, eats a fish. Okay. I'm always wrong when I make fences, so let me see if I have some fences left over from last time. I believe I do. Yep, I do. Just two. That was a spooky cave noise. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Alright. That tree didn't give me a lot of sticks. And yet another reason 
to be anti-forest. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it takes more wood than sticks. So I'm just gonna split it up like that. There you go. Uh, I start the first day of my classes tomorrow, which will be very exciting. It will be very time consuming. I should probably also make another stone axe, speaking of time. And uh, you know what? I think that my goal is to do things that make me happy. And because, uh, you know, that really matters in this world to be happy and to make other people happy, like the people you think are important and the people that you love happy. So um, I, I love me, so I'm going to try my best to do what I love and have fun doing it. There we go. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. The grass hasn't grown back, so that's a pretty nice marker for me. Okay, great. So now we're here. I, I want to kind of put some like slabs underneath with like a darker wood, but I'll have to go on a quest or find some saplings for like that nice spruce wood that they have. Uh, I believe I went, like last time I went to the mountains, I picked up some spruce saplings. I could be wrong. Don't really remember. Ah, uh, the old me was a totally a snake. She doesn't even care. Anyway. So, nope. She's not. I take it all back. Self-care. Alright, so time to get this up before the sun sets. There we go. <sighs> I forgot how big those things get. And time to sleep. Self-care demons won't be getting me for another few days, but it's still good to get some sleep in uh, my not house. Great. Oh, this one's a tall one, huh? I, I really appreciate that. Uh, I really like spruce. It's always like been one of my favorite woods. It um, has a, like a very rich, deep color to it. And back in the day, it was like the darkest color of wood you could get. And I, I always thought it was like, oh, it's pretty like mysterious. You know, it was like a nice noir movie. Um, it's, it had that same kind of vibe. So we're going to plant this other one while that uh, deteriorates. Oh, this one's cute. So, it's like, it looks like an upside down top. I like that. And, um, I also like birch because it's like really light. So you have like two ends of the spectrum and then you have like everything in between. Um, I would say like acacia wood is like a kind of like, it's a whole new color completely. So that's what I really like about it. I should probably bring the crafting table with me so I don't have to keep walking back and forth. Uh, I like, I really like the decision to make, to add acacia to the game. The orange was something that was much needed, and I just love how, like, overall warm Minecraft looks as, like, a result of all of this, all of these design choices. Okay. Uh, I want to make this less, look less boxy, because, like, that's, um, that's always something that you can strive for. Mm, so I'm probably going to add some slabs down. Oops, there's no more space. It's alright. And kind of want to add them around the edges here. So, oh, you're excited. And I think I'll add some stairs as well. Yeah, I'll need a lot of slabs, so I'll just make all of them so I don't have to come back for it. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm also kind of getting into redstone lately, which is really nice, I think. Uh, redstone's a very interesting topic. It's always something that I've wanted to get into. But um, I've just had the computer science know-how to really commit to it. Um, it's uh, definitely something I'm excited to do, and um, I'm going to study like uh, computer science this year very hard to 
try to get to know what's really going on when I'm doing that kind of stuff. It'll be very interesting. Uh, I'll try to share some of my findings with you. Does it look better thick or thin? I think thin, right? And I'll probably put some upside down stairs there just to show that like it's upside down. Oops. Okay. Let me just convert all of these. Since they're all going to become like accent pieces, I'm just going to turn it all. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the bone meal, it's pretty important to me. Seeds, okay. So, yeah, hopefully I'll um, try to understand a little more about like what goes into making devices like those and um, maybe thinking in a way that's more approachable, that's a better approach to redstone and these stairs are totally off <laughs> um, trying to get into a mindset that's more useful for doing things like redstone there you go like I understand there's like an uh, electronics component to it that like um, everyone says they understand but I don't think they actually understand you know that kind of thing so yes that's definitely something I aspire to be working on. Okay, so now we have the stairs. Look a little st a little too long, so maybe I'll get rid of these. Yeah, I'm very picky when it comes to stairs. If they have to be good stairs. Okay, stairs are taking forever. But I've never been really that decisive anyway. Maybe we could have like a ladder and then it would look uh, like it would slim it down a bit. Hmm. Come on, tax evasion. Alright. Ah, oh, thank you. And uh, we could put some ladders up there. I swear I had ladders and uh, they're back at the house, not house. Hmm. They really are. Let me gather these saplings before I get them extinct. <laughs> so I guess I'll, for now I'll just be using this dirt to get up. Most logical course of action right now. Or or I could do some hardcore parkour. That also works. And um, can I reach it from here? Great. I'm gonna make some... I don't have enough wood to make that fence so I'm gonna grow some more. I don't have enough bones to grow some more. So I guess I'll just plant these out in preparation to grow some more. You took all my bones. You took all my bones, didn't you, tax evasion? Great. So uh, that freed up a lot of inventory space to say the to you know see the brighter side of things. My silver lining. I don't have any more bones. He took my bones. Oh, more bones. I love having you around. You keep me young. Anyways, let's get going. Right here. There we go. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. Friends. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, a nice bountiful forest. Not anymore. Uh, that thing is probably <laughs> this thing is probably taking a lot longer than other people would have it. But you know what? I think that the most important thing about a build is love and uh, careful consideration and um, I don't know to some some semblance of cultural historical accuracy. Although I'm sure I'm bastardizing that right now. But um, uh, who's really who's really saying? <laughs> Alright, so uh, I plan to have like some walls around these. I did draw some like blueprints out in a notebook. They're really rough, but they do exist because I am very invested into this project and I hope that I'll be able to do it some justice. Like, coal is a very important resource and uh, we definitely need to worship it some more. I'm going to bring awareness to coal, just as Mo Yang did with honeybees. So, can I jump up here? Thank you. Oh. You're stuck. Thank you. 
so we're gonna have to bring awareness to coal by, um, you know, true to its nature, it destroys the environment around it, just like in real life. So, but we do it for the things we love, the things that we respect, and um, maybe not necessarily always for the better, but it's certainly something that happens. Give me all those saplings and sticks. I need them all. Yep, there you go. Now there's a bunch of like stuff on the floor. Mm, it's not my problem anymore. Uh, I think I have enough sticks to do something with, right? Nope. I'll just turn all these into sticks. And we can make some ladders. That's not how you make a ladder. That's how you make stick pants my new invention. So I wanted to put some fences in here because like it would create this like little hatched uh, window. Uh, I saw it and I really fell in love with it. I was like that's a cool hatched window. I wonder if I can make it in Minecraft. And I did. Pursue your dreams. Don't let them be memes. 15 should be enough because I can't count. Um, there we go. Uh, it looks better already. I could put some, like, trap doors over the front and it would give it some detail. I believe I had some birch trap doors already inside the chest, so I'll just be retrieving that real quick. I keep falling down these. I should probably make a better way up. But that would make it more like a house. You know what? I'm not going to fall for that trap again. I did have trap doors. Scary. I'm, I appreciate the cave noises. Makes it seem less homely. There is no living, laughing, loving in here. There's only dying, not laughing crying. It's the opposite of laughing, crying, and, um, hating. True to my name. All right, so, hmm, I don't want to put the money inside, because then that would take up space, but at the same time, I think they look better on the outside. Do they? A bit, a bit, a bit. Um, yeah, that would be great. Maybe I should replace these with some stairs. Oh, they look better already. Can I collect those? And my dog is telling me to go get some self-care again. I appreciate it, but uh, no. I will not. Not tonight. Which also reminds me that I have to light this place up as well before something spawns in it and it all goes awry. Okay. So, finished minutely detailing it. What's a little better? And I guess I should add a roof. Not with sand, that would be fatal. What can I get rid of this time? Oh, I could just pile on these torches. What am I doing? Alright, so time to open roof style. It's gonna be a little bit of a short roof. They don't need a lot of space, you see. And uh, there we have it. Uh, I'm going to add an actual respectable roof to it. But for now, I'm going to go to bed. Okay, now that we're up and rested, we're ready for the rest of the roof. And I actually hate everything that's in my inventory right now, so let me just drop it in. The unimportant stuff with the diamonds and the coal. I don't need that. I don't need this gravel. Whatever that thing is. My coal I will keep safe. The diorite. And that's... I have a regular fishing rod. That might come in handy. Hello. So we're gonna get to building the roof. Oh, I kind of like deleted these corners, but I'm not sure for what reason. I'll need some scaffolding blocks, I guess, so I'll just get rid of these, this dirt here. Wish I had another creeper so I could just get some more dirt instantly. I like creepers. They're helpful mobs. 
I don't think they ever mean to hurt you. They just want to give you some free dirt and stuff. And you're standing a little too close to their space. And I just think that maybe we're in the wrong for not respecting that. And we keep blaming them for things that they possibly don't have that much control over. So um, I think this is the year to stop uh, blaming creepers for crimes that are mutual. You know? Great. So. Let's get up here. Sorry, tax evasion. You'll have to stay down there. Alright. Oh, maybe the roof's a little too high. I don't remember this entire layer here. But that's like the window, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just get rid of this like chunky border here <laughs> or maybe not we'll find out how to deal with that later as we're figuring out the roof okay I'll just trim off these blocks like a nice haircut and that should be it right it's a little strange I don't recall it making this pattern first we're gonna make the slight a slight overhang. Oh, I'm not sure if I want it to go over the window. Yeah, that's a problem for another person. And um, we're just gonna make like kind of a, like an A-frame roof, so it won't be. So I'm not gonna go on like this side. Hopefully, that man is burning. Would you do you desire assistance, my friend? I just saw a man die in front of me. This is why you should stay protected, kids. The sun is deadly, especially to zombies. Okay. So this is a start. And uh, I'm not sure how this looks, really. Hopefully good. That would be nice. Put a torch down here. Or the aesthetics and I'll finish it off with some slabs on top because um, hmm. I think we've made it like uneven there you go that wasn't fun <laughs> that was really not fun uh, I'd like to also do a little bit of that to just like stretch out the roof give it some flare And there we go. Perhaps I'll like also extend it that way as well. I'll need my dirt back for that. Thank you. Great. So, hmm, this way. I can't have anything. All right, I guess I'll have to use some sand. Sand is always there for me. Dirt, what a snake. Don't know her. There we go. Just put some over the edge. And one more slap. Your problem child. Oh. Oh. That was quite nice of it to not do that. Okay. Right there. Nice. Okay, so I'll have to extend one more out, one more out, and some more stairs. This piece isn't agreeing with me all that well. And we are almost done with this roof. I'll probably have to patch in the few holes that I thought I was going to use, but uh, for now I think we can call this like a solid victory. I, what is this? Oh, okay. It was from the roof. I kind of like that look, actually, for it. I'll just keep it on these sides, too. That's very nice. I like it. But now I can't access the other side. Mm. The sacrifices we make. Alright. There we go. Very beautiful. 
and I think we can call this a job well done. Once we get down and see what it actually looks like. <laughs> Tax Evasion is so excited to see it. It looks very respectable actually. I'll just fill in that gaping hole in the roof right there with something nice. Like, I wanted to put some prismarine in there, but uh, we don't have any guardians, and we don't have any prismarine. So I think I'll, for now I'll fill it with some concrete, concrete, and uh, put a torch over it for funsies. And same goes for the other side. Oh, that's not going to work, huh? Okay. Oh, half a heart is left. That's not great. I'm not going to be able to take another hit. And for the lights. This will probably really look good at night. Hmm. This looks a little inappropriate, so I'm taking it down for the kids. Okay, great. This looks really nice. Uh, I'd like to put some detail on this, on this wall, though, because it doesn't look very nice right now. I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe some stairs. That would work. Stair. When in doubt, just use stairs and slabs. That's what my best friend taught me when she was playing Minecraft. I don't think she meant it like that, though. Come on. Right way. Right way. Looks a little better. Perhaps I can just punch out this one as well. And uh, add some slabs and add some trap doors instead. Uh, I do need some more. I'm not sure if the birch wood for it. Yeah, as I've said, I don't really have the exact inventory of what I think I have. So I might have to go out and deforest some more. You better be in here. Oh, it's not in here. All right. So we're going to... Who's next? There we go. You, your birch, hand it over. Okay, great. Yum. Delicious. They kind of look like cake, like on the inside, like a roll cake. <laughs> this one's like the frosted one, and the um, oak one is the uh, original roll cake. And the spruce is chocolate. And dark oak is dark chocolate and probably something that you don't want to ingest, like arson. Yeah. Arsenic. Ars arson is not some is not a chemical you can ingest. It is a crime. Okay, we can make one more. So here, like that. Will that work? There we go. There we go. And uh, that's all. Is this it? It looks very nice now. Maybe we just need something on the front or a, sh or a sign, a banner. Oh, that'd be a perfect place. Uh, but I'd have to find wool. I'd have to create a wool farm for that because I don't really want to go through the effort of shearing every sheep individually. Like, I'm not about that, like, farmer life, okay? If we're going to do it, we're going to do it the city girl way by creating as much pollution as possible. So for the coup de gras, we're going to add our man of interest inside this place, which is coal. Uh, 53 is not a multiple of 9, which is fine. And this is a very cute glorified chicken coop looking shrine, but we're going to make it work. There you go. All hail. What was that noise? It's very spooky. And we can leave an offerings box, maybe, perhaps, inside the shrine. That would be very appropriate. So, as the twilight falls 
upon us. We're going to look at this and we're going to remember to appreciate coal.